This video is sponsored by the EA Creator Network. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. So we are back with more of exploring love and in the last episode we woohooed with Ted for the very first time and we also moved into our brand new apartment. Now this woohoo just wasn't any woohoo. It was a try for a baby woohoo and I am so excited and honestly I have no idea if she's pregnant at all but also she has no idea that she could possibly be pregnant um so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens next and if she is pregnant but this morning, we are making up some pancakes. Ted decided to sleep on the sofa. He wanted to make sure that she was okay with the woohoo and everything. So he decided to just sleep out here, which was really sweet of him. Um, and I don't know if she's pregnant, you guys. Like... I want her to be so bad, but I don't know if she is. Um, so I'm excited to find out. But we also need to break up with Dante. Yeah, that needs to happen um, because we don't want him to find out about us, you know, woohooing with Ted and all that. So we're just going to break up with him and maybe we should do that over text. I think she would do that. I think she's a little nervous about saying anything to his face. Um, so yeah, and also their love interest meter is kind of low. Um, so we are going to be definitely breaking up with him. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? She's just chatting with him. Oh, the way that she looks at him, like she's so happy. Um, but he needs to go and grab himself some pancakes. Go get Join some. MCAT. Awesome. He's like, thank you so much for cooking. And she's like, no problem. I love cooking. Like, I have no problem with helping out and cooking a, a delicious breakfast for you. Um, oh, so cute. We're going to actually grab ourselves some coffee. We're going to have a light roast this morning. Um, she also went to bed and she felt like she wasn't getting enough exercise for... Okay, I think that's our sign that she is pregnant, but she's not thinking anything of it. Um, she's like, oh, you know, I was probably just, you know, the pancakes or I'm just, you know, under the weather a little bit. Like, it's fine. So I'm going to have her go and use the potty because she really has to go now. <laughs> she didn't even finish her coffee. She's like, oh my gosh, I need to go to the bathroom so bad. Um, so she's going to do that, brush her teeth and... She's going to continue drinking her coffee. I know it's so gross. Trust me. It's ugh. I hate brushing my teeth and then going in drinking like a coffee or even orange juice. Absolutely not. Um, it's so nasty, but I'm just going to have her do that. And is he cleaning up for us? He is. What a cutie. I mean, we didn't even make dinner last night. We kind of just like watch that tv premiere and we were all over each other in those bedrooms so um <laughs> yeah but i'm going to have her put this away and he's like are you okay and she's like yeah i'm fine like everything's fine he's like you look like you're a little under the weather and she's like i i'm not feeling all that great but it's okay and he's like anything i can do do you need me to go and run to the store real quick and she's like no no it's okay thank you though um so let's finish drinking our coffee do we have work today we do Ugh, gross uh, ahoy neighbor. I'm really enjoying access to your place. Got anything to eat? <laughs> Ted, you're already here. Make yourself at home. Eat whatever you want. Like, <laughs> we have no problem with that. Um, oh, is there a festival going to be happening? Hold on. Is that the love festival? Oh my gosh. I think it is. I think it is. It is. Oh my goodness. The romance festival is tomorrow. Oh, we're so going. We are so 
going. <gasps> maybe, maybe he'll ask us to be his girlfriend. Or we'll ask him for him to be our boyfriend. I don't know. I don't know. But I kind of want them to become boyfriend and girlfriend. So, and I know she's definitely thinking about it. She's like, hmm. So we're going to this. I'm excited. But she's also thinking about Dante. Um, And she's like, Ted, it was really nice hanging out with you. We'll definitely have to do this again, of course. And he's like, all right. Um, whenever you want me to come over, let me know. I'm here and you're there. And yeah, and he's just, you know, <laughs> he's a little nervous about everything that happened. He's blushing a little bit, you know, um, but we're going to go to work. Uh, we're going to head on out and Ted is going to be leaving. <laughs> I think he has work today too, or he's just going to make himself at home. I mean, that's okay. We're all right with that. He can do that. He's probably making sure that everything's fine here and stuff. So congratulations on getting that big promotion. Cameron, Cameron, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah, he was just making sure that everything was fine here, um, that he cleaned up and everything. So she comes home to a very clean apartment, which I think is so sweet of him. Like, seriously, Tad is father material. Mm-hmm. Hey, Elena, I've been thinking of getting to, oh, oh, become better friends. Oh, 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 yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go make some friends. Seriously. Like <laughs> we want you to have all the friends in the world, Ted, all the friends. <laughs> also, um, our hedgehog needs some attention. Oh my gosh. Okay. Play with, talk to, um, uh, Tell a secret. You know what? Let's tell a secret. Let's do it. <laughs> um, she gets off work at what time? 4 p.m. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to be changing our career path fairly soon. She's feeling super tense. She really wants to go and work out. Maybe Tad will want to go with us. We shall see. Um, but she really has to go to the bathroom right now. She's like, oh my gosh, I've been having to use the bathroom so, so much. Like... Oh my goodness. Um, so we're going to do that in just a moment. Oh, bite size bite. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That is so amazing. Activity. Um, let's feed you a treat. Oh, she's going to use the bathroom. She's like, oh my gosh, I really have to go right now. And also she is kind of feeling like she needs to throw up. So she's going to do that. And she's like, I don't know what has gotten into me or anything. Like this is so unlike me. I'm just really confused as to what is going on here. Um, Cheerleading team sports day. Cool. But she's like, all right. Something is definitely not right. Um, but I'm going to have her clean that. And she's like, I really just don't feel good, like, at all. Uh, so she's just going to go and lay down for a little bit. Take a nap, kind of relax, and all of that jazz. Okay, so she's just going to take herself a nap. And... Oh, the Festival of Light has started. Oh, one of my favorite festivals. Um, she's feeling a little bit better now. She's actually going to come and sit down at her computer. And, um, oh, someone's calling us. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. Who is this? Why are you pranking me? Uh, anyways, she's really needing to break up with Dante. She is like, oh my gosh, I, sh I need to do this. I need to do this. So she is going to <laughs> dump over phone call or dump over text. Mm, she would go for the text. Yeah, she's going to dump him over text message um, because she just doesn't want to see him or hear him or anything. She just wants this to be done and over with. Oh, coward dumping me over text. Coward. I'd say more, but that's the only word that comes to mind. 
talk to you never <gasps> oh my gosh okay romantic satisfaction ends and elena just broke up with dante oh my gosh okay let's see what this says now so Elena is bitter about the breakup and Dante is spiteful over phone breakup. Oh, well, you know what? It just wasn't meant to be, Dante. It really just wasn't meant to be. And I'm so sorry, but we have moved on to someone better. Someone who actually cares, who doesn't stalk us 24-7. So I'm just really happy that she did that. Um, she's super tense, guys. It says mobile meltdown. Uh. Elena is feeling stressed and guilty that she just dumped her partner over the phone. There's no way they'll run into each other again, right? No, definitely not. And breakup blues and pranked oh my gosh yeah she's just going through all of the emotions right now she's like did i just do the right thing or was that the wrong thing to do should i have just like went over to dante's to talk about him like i don't know i don't know but you know what it's done it's over with and as she's eating these pancakes she can feel herself needing to throw up again so she's gonna go and throw up one more time and I think we're going to take a pregnancy test. Yeah. Because now she's like, I have no idea what is going on here, but I never get sick. So either one, I'm very sick or two, I'm pregnant. So we're going to go take that test. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous for her to do this. You guys, I'm so nervous. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. And is she ready? I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> She's pregnant. Eating for two. Congratulations. Elena is expecting. Oh my gosh. She's freaking out right now. So she didn't tell him anything. She did not walk out here or anything. She is just like, oh my gosh. I am pregnant. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no. Not this being broken. Oh, uh, where are we going to put our hedgehog? Okay, we need to move our hedgehog because we need to call our uh, landlord. So the hedgehog is actually just going to go in here for now. So I'm going to have her call the landlord right now, complain and all of that jazz. And she's been wearing this outfit way too much. So I'm actually going to have her change her outfit into her bed clothes because she is getting exhausted. And she just doesn't know how she's going to break the news to Ted that she's pregnant. She's scared. She has no idea, like, what's going to happen. Um, but it's going to be okay. We're just going to come in here and we're going to watch some TV. Yep. Let's, um, let's watch the romance channel. Is he going to go and fix this? Hello? Go and fix that. Oh, I thought he was about to walk out. You guys, I was going to scream at him. <laughs> but yeah, she's just going to come in here and just relax and not think about this and watch the romance channel. Oh, okay. Okay. He almost died. Looks all good here. Just don't call me again too soon. Okay, whatever. Oh, and she left her pancakes over here. I'm going to have her go and grab those and eat those. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for her to have a baby, but I think she's just a little nervous at everything. I mean, her and Ted aren't even, like, officially dating or anything. Um, well, let's clean this up. But I honestly do not think he would be the one that's, like, I'm not going to take care of the kid. Dante, on the other hand, I feel like he would have been like that. Um, so I'm kind of happy that she did this with Ted. Um, but we're going to go to sleep now. We're going to get some rest. Or first, let's talk to our hedgehog um, <laughs> and tell secrets to our hedgehog. It's, okay. Hungry. Uh, let's feed a treat. 
And let's also go to sleep. We're exhausted. And we're going to have to tell Ted tomorrow because we all know Ted's going to be like, let's go out. Let's go have some fun. So, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Oh, she's sad from that breakup still. Oh, I am so sorry, girl. Ew, this is disgusting. Can we clean this? This is so gross. Oh, she's still so sad. Well, not for long. Now she's feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it is pretty chilly outside. It is raining. Do we have an outfit that we can wear that would be kind of warm? Uh, I think I'm going to put her in this outfit today. Come on, girl. Let's go change your outfit and get yourself ready. <gasps> cute even with her like little baby bump oh my gosh all right I'm gonna have her go and throw up one more time and go and clean this and we're just gonna grab some food from the refrigerator oh I feel so bad for her um we're gonna grab leftovers Ooh, she's going to have those pancakes again. She really loves those pancakes. Um, and then we're going to boil the kettle so that we can have maybe tea or something or hot chocolate. Ooh, let's do a hot chocolate because I know that she is craving a hot chocolate right now. Um, so we are going to have one of those. And I really hope the rain stops for the festival. Oh, I'll be so sad if it doesn't stop raining, <laughs> but I still want her and Ted to become partners and I don't know. I just want him to know that we are pregnant. Like, oh my gosh. I'm also so nervous. <laughs> All right. So we're going to eat this and then we need to go use the potty because she needs to go now. Oh, don't set the table. All right. Come on, girl. Put those pancakes down. Okay. And I'll put that in the dishwasher. And let's have a hot cocoa. Ooh. Hot cocoa with marshmallows or just a hot cocoa? She would put marshmallows in it. <laughs> Let's just be real here. She would totally do that. And we don't have work today, which is great. Um, and I don't see her going out quite yet to like, you know, go and do anything or anything like that. Um, since she doesn't want Ted to see her. But I don't know. I kind of want her to go to the little sh coffee shop over here that we went with uh, Cameron. But... It might be just a little too much. And we can't go to the park over here because it's raining, which kind of is a bummer, I have to say. So maybe we should invite him over. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. <gasps> Toasty! Mm, sweet pillows of sugary goodness. Is it even worth it to drink cocoa without marshmallows? I think not. Honestly, I'm going to be so honest. No, <laughs> you need the marshmallows. All right. She's just kind of stalling here um, and not wanting to invite him over to say that she's pregnant. But we're going to invite him over now. She's going to work up the courage and say it. I mean, you can tell she's pregnant. OK, you can tell she is pregnant. Um, so let's do this. We're just going to tell him straight up that we're pregnant with his kid and i know he's gonna be like let me move in then let me move in <laughs> okay so um share the big news she's just gonna go out and say it oh my gosh he's like so i'm pregnant oh my goodness he's like what are you kidding like i'm so happy so ted is just so happy that we are 
pregnant and he just can't wait to meet the little one. Um, we're going to give him a kiss and we're also going to ask about his day, see how he's doing. Oh my goodness. Ask to be woohoo partners. No, I want you guys to be together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna um, profess undying love. Should we actually confess our attraction? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but we'll do it. We'll confess our attraction to him. Um, so I'm gonna have her come in, but he is so excited. What do you want? Ted and you are such a great pair. Thanks. You never know, we just might plan something long-term. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll also gossip about neighbors we'll gossip about dante and how horrible he was um but yeah we're just gonna chat with him for a little bit before we go to the romance festival because he's like hey you want to go to the romance festival later i heard it's going to be in town and she's like of course i think that would be so awesome um Wait, did he want to hang out? Agree to hang out. Let's do it. There we go. Welcome to the neighborhood. What? The welcome wagon is a little late, don't you think? <laughs> no, we'll invite them in. All right. So we're like, hey, how's it going? Ted would like to come over to hang out. We were already hanging out. What do you mean? What do you mean? All right. Uh. Ted thinks Elena is swell and wants to become best friends. Okay, is he about to ask us out or something, you know? <laughs> because that would be so cute. All right, we're going to confess our attraction to him. And we'll also give him a kiss again. We're going to flirt with him again. And let's see. <laughs> You're already hanging out with us. What do you mean? Okay. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Let's tell some jokes. And then let's come inside so that we can, you know, talk to everybody. I knew it was happening. I knew it was happening. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Oh, my gosh. Ted wants to take things to the next level. Will Elena be his romantic partner? Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Because this is what I wanted. But I wanted it to happen at the romance festival. But that's okay. It's okay. I'll take it. I will take this. <gasps> oh my gosh. They are officially together. Oh my gosh. He was so nervous there. He was like, all right, I did it. I did it. Oh, so cute. <gasps> he got us a rose. Stop. This is like the cutest. I love that. Oh my gosh. There's so many things here. Oh my gosh. Lover's bliss. Romantic atmosphere. That's from our lot trait. Warmed by kiss. <gasps> feeling great like oh my gosh she's all the thing eating for two what was the other one nibbles and bits that is so cute oh my gosh they are definitely going to be moving in together and i know for a fact he is going to pack up his things and he's gonna move here because he knows that elena loves this place and he doesn't want to take this place from her um so yeah i think that moving in is going to be the next thing but we're going to greet new neighbor and all of that because we have yet to even talk to anybody so can we go inside you two okay we're just gonna chat a little bit um discuss neighborhood changes no and we're not doing a pickup line we're not flirting with anybody um but let's just like chat you know compliment appearance no don't do that don't do that. Don't compliment appearance. Thanks for coming. Oh, he's grabbing himself some pancakes. All right. Ted, what are you doing out here? You know, should we ask him to wear flirty costume? Hmm. 
maybe we should tell everybody to go home maybe that's what we'll do we'll end this early we'll have everybody go home um and i want him to put on his flirty outfit his little flirty costume because i want to see what it is so wear a flirty costume oh my gosh can you guys go please this is a little awkward okay let's see <laughs> see what it's gonna be oh my gosh if he's a fairy we'll take it but if he <laughs> if he's not a fairy we'll still take it uh, um uh, mm, can, can you go home please just just go home thank you you guys what is this okay you know what i'll let it happen it's fine it's fine he's a grim reaper you guys oh my gosh don't we love it oh my gosh this is too much um okay let's uh talk to him a little bit more let's do a deep conversation but i don't know why this isn't like moving up it should be all the way full so i'm actually going to cheat that i think or is it moving i don't know but i'm gonna cheat it it's gonna go to 100 just because it should already be there i mean we've talked to him a lot and i don't know it's just like not moving at all uh so i'm just gonna run that and yeah we're gonna compliment his outfit and be like yeah you look great honey like you look really really great in your grim reaper costume he's like yeah yeah i'm wearing this for halloween this year and she's like i told you to put on a flirty costume flirty <laughs> so you know what um should we should we ask him again yeah let's ask him again let's ask him again uh let's see uh flirty costume asked to wear flirty costume is he gonna do it no he's gonna clean up for us you know what it's fine his flirty costume is perfectly fine then <laughs> go use the potty um and oh we should probably do the laundry i think we need to do we wash this i don't know if we did oh it's dirty ew wash the laundry girl that's nasty and of course she's getting upset about the floor being all gross. So we're gonna mop that up. And, oh, we need to go to the festival. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and read about the festival in just a moment. I want us to go. I want us to, you know, have a flirty time with Ted. <laughs> Ooh, she is so flirty. Oh, it starts at five. Okay, I thought it started at noon. So five o'clock, we will be going to this. Oh, I'm so excited. So, so excited. I'm gonna have her come over here. And you know what, let's make some flirty heart cookies. And I don't think she's gonna eat those gourmet fruitcake. So I might just throw that away. She's not really into fruitcakes, so yeah. Where's Ted? What is Ted doing? Oh, he was just over here. Oh, I heard you and Ted started dating. Congratulations on landing a new partner. This is our partner for life. Literally for life. <laughs> oh, she turned on the TV. Cute. Uh gunther 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 hey elena we'd love to have you join the avant-garde what do you think no no thank you but no thank you <laughs> Ooh, i know she should join a little mommy group that's what she should do Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. Might make her like her own little uh, club. It'll be like the a mommy group. It'll be super cute. Hey neighbor, I'm bored. You were just over at our place. What do you mean you're bored? Okay, she's going to, oh my gosh, you all see that? <laughs> I was gonna have her grab one of these cookies, but 
she beat me to it. Um, so she's eating one of those cookies. Good. And we'll actually put these away. And what is he doing? He keeps like walking back and forth. I'm so confused. Uh, we're going to feed our uh, hedgehog a tree and we're going to play with our hedgehog too. And I did hear the washer go off. So can we move them to the dryer? Perfect. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to end this episode right here. We are officially pregnant. And honestly, I am so, so happy. I do not think this is going to be the only baby that we have. I feel like we're going to adopt at least two more kids. Um, So yeah, but I'm just so excited for her, like officially starting her family that she wants. And Ted was just too perfect to pass up. I mean, she is just so in love with him. But anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.